please follow me on Instagram. It's got a lot of really interesting content up there. Hey guys. Hey everyone. Hey guys. Just saying what's up to my followers. I will not send nudie pics to teenagers. I hashtagged it. Brooklyn goth, manic panic, Jewish goth. This is like the weirdest place I've ever been in my life. Honestly, I don't think you're Instagram fake enough. <laughs> Can I get a video of you like titty bouncing? following is highly coveted. There's an entire industry of influencers who are paid to be relevant and sell shit online. How hard is this cultivation? If I designed a persona explicitly for Instagram, could I get a larger following than my actual account? Look at that fucking weird ass duck. What is that thing? What are you? So I have 3,300 followers or so on my real account. I have a month to get more than that. We're gonna do this by using information that's already on the internet available to everyone that we just Googled. I will not pay to promote my page. I'm not gonna use the official Vice account to boost my following. Okay, let's go get Instafamous. According to the blogger Elise Dharma, the first step to becoming an influencer is to define my niche. Because I want this alter ego to blow up, I tried to write out the entire internet so I could create a Frankenstein's monster of viral traits. We've got baby shark and it has the six do, 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 do might be the behavior that raw spray is Jesus Christ CBD. I think we figured it out. I think we figured out the internet. I then randomly selected the formula for my new persona using a classic vice algorithm. We got goth, DIY skincare, and thirst. Looks like we got ourselves an influencer. The next step is to create a bio. WikiHow's How to Become an Instagram Influencer tells me I should create a bio that's short, sweet, and catchy. I'm spooky, healthy, and horny. My style is kind of like masculine, but pink. To really become my Instagram alter ego, I had to undergo a complete makeover. This is Sydney. Fuck! Why do I do that with my mouth? Truly an astonishing development. I cannot breathe through my nose at all. I am allergic to wearing the makeup. This will make it harder to be sexy. Part two of WikiHow's tutorial says I should create a few weeks worth of content at once. So with my new look, we ventured to the most Instagrammable parts of New York City to bank as many photos as we could. Ways to pose to look sexy in pictures. If you can get the waist and the kiss, hashtag feet, hashtag Jewish. I just went to my Instagram page that has nothing but a bio and a name. And I have one follower already. Isn't that amazing? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make my first post. So here's the image. Fuck, I have to write a caption. Hello, followers. Here's to new beginnings. The Medium post how to become an Instagram influencer and start earning money encourages me to tag relevant brands in order to drive traffic to my profile and make me look more important than I actually am. Okay, and I'm gonna tag Ju- I wanna tag Jewel the company. Looks like they don't have an Instagram account. It's probably because of all the lawsuits. Yeah, I can tag Fashion Nova. <laughs> Clicking share. Okay, well, we, we posted it. How do you feel? I feel like this is the first day of the rest of my life. It is 96 degrees outside right now. Not a good time to be a goth. Just use any kind of little bottle um, to make a facial toner, and then instead of misting it onto your face, make sure we get a lot of sleep because it's really important. Me, Sally Sensation, um, or give me a DM. I answer all my DMs. My first few days have been rough. Even though I'm following WikiHow's advice using hashtags to interact with both my followers and people using relevant hashtags similar to mine, I can't seem to find traction. I'm immediately discouraged and think that this is not gonna work out. I don't think it's possible for me to get more than 3,000 followers in a month. 
and my DMs have been less than encouraging. They are sometimes mean and sometimes polite. I have a had dick. What does horny mean? Yeah, I'm having a wank. He goes, are you actually horny? I said, I'm just trying to emulate being horny. I go, I'm eating a sandwich. He goes, show me. I showed him the sandwich. I'm wondering if it's a dick pic. Yep, pretty much. After I told him I had a boyfriend, he blocked me. Let's go back to the tips. I stepped up my caption game based on the Medium Post's ninth tip, which is to pose questions with your content so that your audience is more likely to engage with it. I have this caption. How many of you have had a stuffed animal as a kid? I've had my Lammy for so long, I don't know what I'd do without her. You know, I'm trying to make people comment on the damn picture. How are you feeling mentally? Well, I'm frustrated because I, I thought this would be easier than it is. I thought that I would have at least a couple hundred followers by now. Um, no dice. Even though I had scoured blogs and thought pieces on how to get ahead as an influencer, I realized I needed to take my content to the next level by attending an influencer meetup to see how people with large Instagram audiences had built their following. I want your advice on what I should do. I'm a big proponent of spending money. Do you think I can do this without spending any money? Definitely not. Instagram these days wants to make money, so no. You need to have money. How much money do you think you spent on trying to grow your Instagram platform? I would say at least $10,000. $10,000 in five years. Do you want to be famous? I don't mind. Don't <laughs> well, mind. Well, well, that's not the goal. I need to let everyone know I just got interviewed. Yeah. I really want to do it, like influence, but like in a good way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You just want to reach the mo most yeah, amount of people. Yeah, most amount that, of people. So yeah. that sounds like. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no, when you ask. Don't make me Do you feel the price of, of fame weighing upon your little? No, she's just saying. This is like the weirdest place I've ever been in my life. Can we take a selfie together? Oh yeah, definitely. And then I'll tag you in it and you repost it? Of course. Sally, sensation? Yeah. Oh no, you're Hispanic, you're Hispanic. After trying to get people to repost me, very few actually followed through. And despite me asking specifically not to, most ended up tagging Vice rather than Sally Sensation, which didn't help my experiment at all. The people in there are just people who want to feel validated and loved, and they want to be popular, and they want someone to pay attention to them, just like everybody does. The influencer event left me confused. So I reached out to Amy Rebecca, an influencer with more than half a million followers, to see if she could help me reach my goal. And then a little bit like, yeah, yes, girl, and then raise your eyebrow. Yes, that's the face you want to do. Insider secret, I practice my facial expressions at least wow. two hours a day. Really? Yeah. Because I have a stupid smile. So especially if you're trying to grow your Instagram account, I would say join an engagement group. An engagement group is kind of like an underground society of other influencers. There's a list of girls and you have to comment each one of their stuff and they'll comment on yours. Wow. A so, lot of these yeah. girls buy a lot of clothes from like those Fashion Nova pretty little thing. Yeah. Order them, take a bunch of pictures and then return and them. And then just send them back. And just say add, hashtag add, whatever. The smaller brands would say, oh my gosh, you're working with those contracts or with that those companies, so I must work with you. That's a really good tip. After getting some insider advice, Amy Rebecca was kind enough to tag me on her Instagram story just for a few hours which made my follower count rise by a couple hundred. Another way to really, if you have the balls to do this, mm -hmm. get a bikini or mm. something with your Instagram handle on your butt Whoa. and walk around Times Square. That's wild. And that's free. God damn it. I'm holding up a sign that says something purposely vague in the hopes that I can turn myself into a meme and get more followers. Please follow me on Instagram. It's got a lot of really interesting content up there. What's your name? I'm Sally Sensation. So fo fo follow me on Instagram. Thank you. Now is the time to help computer. Other people use their bodies uh, with signs as forms of protest. Help computer is now. Help computer is the future and the future is the past. I'm protesting that I don't, I'm not popular enough. Yeah, that's me. Okay, great. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna prove you and then I'll follow you back. What's your handle? Oh, wow, amazing. So you really know how to do it. I know how to do it. Can I get a shout out? Oh.
Welcome back, what's up, it's your boy Prince Z, I'm with Sally Sensation. And today we're gonna do the Naked Billy Larry's Challenge. One, three. One, Excuse me. two. What? Is this you? Right? That's not me, but that's someone who looks like me though. Video of you like titty bouncing. I'm Sally Sensation. I'm here in Times Square, and I'm simply being sexy. My Times Square stunt was a success, but only by coincidence. My follower count jumped by over a thousand followers. I decided to ask for one final piece of advice from a professional, Joe Laresca who runs a company that helps influencers grow their audiences. Like off the cuff, the help computer please follow. If I didn't know you, I don't know what that means. Right away, people should know exactly who you are, what you do, and why I should know about you. You say you're trying to be a goth thought. Yeah. I think you're like kind of doing it. Um, Great. Which is good. Um, but I can feel it's not like totally, totally real. I know. Because all of your pictures are like, the extreme version of that persona. If we were running an aggressive campaign trying to get like 50,000, mm -hmm. um, what, what's like the price gamut, like the high and low end of what we would have to spend to get there? I would feel comfortable with, you know, anywhere between five and 20,000 a month. Let's Wish do it, next team. time. After a month of caking myself in makeup and sucking my stomach in, the clock had run out on our experiment. I was looking forward to ditching my dark and sexy persona and going back to freaky clown girl Sally. We're done with Sally's sensation, she's dead. We did not make it to our goal of over 3,500 followers, but we got to about 1,700, which is pretty good for starting from scratch. If you just Google like how to be famous on Instagram, a lot of stuff comes up, it's like use hashtags, have emojis in your bio, interact with people. And I did all that. But the things that aren't posted online, you need money to pay for shout outs. You need people to post a story or a picture of you to their page and tag you in it so that you are able to get their followers. Even though Instagram is a vapid and superficial landscape, it is so much easier for people to like you if you're being you. So please, Follow at Sally Sensation on Instagram. She's a goth thought from NYC. Imagine if we had a goth AI motivational quotes. Wouldn't you follow this account? AI starring Haley Joel Osment. We're gonna make a whole account. Here, one second. 